you take it. From a mother, you need to be able to understand what your children are about. I've seen people who their children are going to school and because the mother is not educated, she can't help the child with the home. Do you understand? That is, I'm sure for some of those women, they feel pain, look at the opportunities they have, and they said, oh, I wish I'd had this opportunity. I would have loved to go to school. So you, there's a common saying, train a woman, you train a nation. So you cannot underestimate it because she's going to be having children later by God's great life. She has to be able to... are able to do that and for yourself even for yourself once you have the opportunity don't blow it and the, the, for me once you have the basic standard that is your primary and your secondary you might not even need this but if you have a good because that's the foundation it's like a house you forget if the house foundation is faulty it's not going to last but once your primary and your secondary education i've seen people who said look i'm not going ahead uh, this is where I want to stop. I want to go into business. Later on, they go to do some other courses, business courses to, get, to help them manage their businesses, manage their establishments, right? But because they had the right, right foundation, they knew the basics. And, that, and those two is what people, at the very least, every parent should try to give their child at the very And need and understand. Coming in now, it's yeah, this guy. So, as we go forward, days ahead, it is important that everything. the world very technical, more into online things, and all that. So that's why it's important. You need to observe your child. Observe what it is as the child is going from, even just from their play. You can see what is it that the child likes to do. You see there are some who help him. So I'll use my niece. My niece as a little girl, she likes to, after watching news, she will go take a newspaper. You know, she might not be there, she wasn't even very vocal. She just takes it and begins to read. And she liked to always, um, you know, I do in particular, she'll say, oh, I'm you know, I do, or she'll call her name, you know, to even drag her couple into the play with her. So she always used to imitate. Today, that child walked in the radio station. When she was ready, she told her parents to read communication, and that's where she went into. She read that, and she was in the radio station. We must observe because of him, might say engineering. But I wasn't good in physics. I was good at chemistry, but even it was critical. It's fair in math. Look at what my course is, which I was good at. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, you're breaking when you talk. I hear you in bits. But I don't know if the audience can hear you. Can hear you now. Okay. It was so clear at the beginning, I'm wondering what's going on. Okay, so should I go on? Yes, please. Okay. So you look at the child's subject when it's um, time to enter university, but at that point, you make it. I'm always interested in medical. Like, understand what are those things that the child seems to be more interested in? 
find a child who is interested in, in cooking, who likes to make up recipes, who is always interested in preparing food for the family, then you should know that, oh, this child will probably want to be a chef, run a um, event center, is always interested in getting people comfortable. An auntie, an uncle, a visitor comes, and that child, you see that child is always ready. Oh, are you comfortable? Can I get you water? Those are the little things that guide you to what is this child's interest. He's always interested in people's welfare. He or she's interested in people's welfare. It could be a doctor, it could be a nurse. You know, we need to come out of that um, angle where we're saying, oh, my child will be a lawyer, a doctor, an engineer. No, we need to know what is that child. Or is this child interested in music? So that you are not, you don't start a journey and a child is saying, I can't cope anymore. They didn't like what they were reading. So in observing your child, in looking at the way I defend strengths, don't go and push a child who is not inclined into the sciences when it is clearly obvious that oh arts is where this person wants to be. So force your child. In doing that, you set that child up to excel in the future at whatever it is he or she wants to do. So those are the, the critical things. Observe your child, know where their strengths are in terms of their subject and second school level. Also in terms of their skills, what are they prone to doing? Are they very hands on? Do you understand? Are they very hands on in, in what, what they do? You see them always you know, wanting to fix things. You see a boy who takes apart a car because he wants to see you. Obviously begin to know that this child is Education, the app. So those are the things parents need to look out for. Thank you. What are the right skills needed to reach the peak in any career, you know, for for a, a girl? Let's let's be specific about girl child. Okay, for a girl. Yes. Um okay, so you have the basic skills of um, your technical skills and analytical skills, that's the job skills, okay? Find out what are the job skills, what do I do? If I'm going into, um, like, I, accounting, you know, you want to go into the accounting profession, one of the key skills is attention to detail. You must not be someone who is not to focus. You must be someone who can, because you're dealing with figures. Sometimes the figures are plenty, are long, so you need to be able to know that, oh, I have written, in this report, somebody has written 50, Focus on a report, okay, and not here and there, easily distracted. So, so for women who uh, like say that we tend, but we tend to talk a lot. So if you're going into that kind of job, you need to be able to know to manage your emotions. You can't be too emotional of that. You know, women we tend to be emotional. So in jobs like that, that have to do with finance, jobs like um, even in the engineering sector, you cannot be too emotional because light or medical, light as well. So you need to be able to manage your emotions. You can't be someone who is, who is temperamental. Everybody has different emotions and going into that kind of thing. Because you are dealing with people. People will always react. People will always respond. Okay? But you cannot be Yes. Where a customer came in very upset and he used the F word at me. I just smiled and looked at him. I didn't react, I didn't insult him back. In fact, the other customers there were more like, ah, um, what did she just say that got this man so upset? He had to be so insulted. But he was upset. He had a claim, he had his um, the challenge he was because he was. There was some one shortage somewhere along the line. Nobody can know where it came from. But you, so as a woman, you do not let your emotions control you in those kind of problems. You must learn to manage your emotions. In particular, where you're dealing with other people, in a customer facing job. So for me, that is very critical because people should be able to see that, oh, you are stable. They need to see that, that they are sure that, oh, this one will not slap a customer or begin to fight with a customer or argue. You must be to be one who is calm. 
So for a woman, calmness is very important in those kind of jobs where your customer faces. Outside the hard school, technical school, is everybody. I personally, for me, I believe that if you clean up someone, a go-to person, someone who's like, oh, no matter the crisis, she will be able to handle it because she's always calm in every situation. So that's the very because knowing that we are emotional as part of our makeup. So those are one of the things I think we must wow. have. Thank you so much for that uh, wonderful answer. And I'm sure advice for women. I'm going to take one or two of those advice as well. Thank you. Now, can you tell us the driving energy? What has motivated you? How did you juggle all the opposing uh, demands upon your life as a woman? Okay, as a what? I didn't get the last word. As a woman, Oh, okay. How did I juggle my job, my home? Okay. Yes. Um, so my my case my case is, is a bit unique. Um, uh, so I I was widowed early on. Okay. So that left me with a young child. So I had my parents' support in terms of when I had to join bank. So I said I left. I was working in a stockbroking firm. Then um, my situation happened. My husband died. I had a young child I had to look after. And so friends came, what do we do? I mean, one of the friends came, are you sure this can support you and your child? That was what even led to me joining the, the banking sector. Um, so I had my child with my parents, first of all, initially, also when the time for me to class So I pretty much had my time. But um, one thing as a woman, um, women must understand, when you go to a high pressure career, you can be a lawyer, can be as a doctor, because even as a medical doctor, there's a lot of pressure on your time. I have friends who are doctors. Um, there will be sacrifices, so you must identify them. I'll give a piece of advice um, a lady gave to us at Aria Day early on. In